Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you the first setup of your Content Gorilla account. And the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and log into your account. When you do that, you're going to be sent an email onto your, you know, email address, which is going to be a two factor authentication code. So just enter that. Now this code, uh, you won't have to enter every time it gets cookied in for 30 days. So, you know, once you enter um, it once um, for the next 30 days, you won't need to. And then you have the quick start video, so you can go ahead and watch it. It's going to give you a quick overview of the app itself. Otherwise you have this um, series of tutorials that we're doing and you know, you can watch those if you want to see a specific feature. So the first step is to add your API key, YouTube API key. And it's a free and, you know, basically simple and easy way. So what you're going to do is you're going to head over to settings and in settings, you're going to go to general settings. And as you see here, um, this is where you're going to be entering your API key. Now, what you need to do is go to Google console. So to do that, you can simply click on this link icon and it's going to take you to Google console. If you don't have an account, you will see an option to, you know, set up one and it's super simple process. So you can just, um, click on the sign up button with your Google account and it's going to sign you up instantly. Then you have to create a project if you don't already have one. So let's just go ahead and create a new one for this demo. And let's just call it. And you can leave the organization empty. Simply click on create. Now, the one thing that you need to do and give it a second, it's going to, you know, first create the project and then you can select it. So now we're going to be on that project as you can see here. So the first thing that you want to do is enable APIs and services. Click on this button and search for YouTube data API V3, this one. So we're going to click on it and we're going to enable this. Now what's once it's enabled, it's going to redirect you back and this button is going to change to disable API, which means that, um, you know, the API is enabled. Now to use this API, we're going to need to create credentials. And if you're not seeing this button, you can basically click on the credential section from the left section. So that's what I'm going to do here. And then you can, you know, click on create credentials. And we're going to be using an API key. So that's what we are selecting. It's going to create an API key for us. We're going to copy this API key, close this and come back to content gorilla and enter the API key. Click on the authenticate button and the, you know, once it's authenticated, it's going to show you a pop-up saying that it's authenticated. So now you can go ahead and start using content gorilla.